Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is D-Man with Quad V. We are live at the Ultimate Gaming Championship here in Lignano Sabiadoro, Italy. And it is going to be Red Bite versus the Fofos. And we are live for the second map. They've just had the knife round. And uh, it was actually quite a good knife round. I thought I won't bother casting it, but it turned out it was quite tactical. G-Lady just about lost the knife round so Evo opening up the frag Sexos going down Evo gets a second on trunk straight away it is crossfire as I'm sure you're aware if there is any brightness issues please tell me straight away on tech 9 or ISC or whatever you're doing I have put all the, the the recommendations that people have said so it should be all set perfectly now Boone sends a grenade frag there and the bomb is looking like it's going to try and go in at the moment and it has the met managed to get the bomb down early so red bite with the Early plant, Fofos, it's a four on three defense, so the Fofos are going to have a little bit of trouble moving with this. Oh, he's straight on street, catches Boone off guard, but Boone manages to down him. G-Lady comes around, downs Met as well, Evo on fit there, and it is a double push now straight towards the melon room. And uh, looks like one of them's going to go for the defuse. Goofy's trying to get a scope, he can't see anyone, can't see anyone to do it. G-Lady is up and around the thing, is he going to go for the defuse? Goofy shot, rattling through, Goofy downs... Boone with a deagle, it is G-Lady, the last man standing now, manages to down Evo, it's just Goofy, he's got to try and get the shot, he makes the shot, and that is the first round to Red Bite, but that was a close run thing, that was not an easy round for Red Bite, despite having four man defending, the Fofos with three managed to push him very well, and get straight into that bomb site. just couldn't find G uh, Goofy quick enough. So, see if any of these opening grenades come to the Fofos, they did lose to Ox yesterday, but it was double a limb, so... Expected to run fairly close, depending on how Red White do. Boo manages to find one down. Skin comes up through, doesn't find. Yes, he does find the second on Evo there. Riddick downs trunk. In the meantime, Finter tagged up with absolutely nothing left of his health. <coughs> that got to be Goofy uh, sniping him and saying, hey, this is COD4 sniping for you. You land the shot, it doesn't always get the kill. Boone takes a peek towards the Melons of Doom and gets a tag. Oh, he has to dash it away. He's tagged up heavily himself, so he's going to have to try and back off. Goofy, very aggressive with the scope here. He's, he's very forward with it. He's going to back away, switches to the Deagle. Remember, uh, Boone is in that house. There's also another round of back ledge there. Comes around Goofy, switching it up to the SMG, gets a second, takes down Boone, fits him with a grenade on Riddick. Fins are now the last man standing. He's going to be in this back corner, I guess, and that's exactly where Goofy is heading. Going to catch him out. Comes around. Goofy picks up another. And that was a nice round from Goofy. The scope there, proving that he's not just the scope. He can pick up that SMG and go aggressive. Let's see what he does at the opening of this second, third round, sorry. 2-0 now to Red Bite on the attacking side. Grenades go out. Goofy hops up on the car, tries to land anything through kebab. Nothing there. Nothing Give, throws a grenade out, tries to get hit and miss, tries to get to be lucky, does tag someone up, it was Sexus that got tagged, Mech gets a double frag though, Trunk and Sexus both go down, Evo was down by Sexus in the process, Goofy not really finding anything, let's switch across, Skin's got aggressive, he's got himself into the alleyway already, which is exactly where you'd expect to find the Fofos, but now not there, and I can see someone in Kebab, it's Met, Met has gone ultra aggressive, Met finds himself a fourth, and would you believe it, He's on the ace here, I think. I'm going to have a look around. G-Lady is the last man standing, and Mets trying his best to find him. Not going to happen. There he is! Goofy go! Oh, stole from him! Stole! I'm, I'm absolutely certain that was... That was the ace, and Goofy comes in and steals it with a deagle when Met had his crosshairs all over him. I cannot believe it. How would you do that to your teammate live on stream? That's just unfair. So... How are the Fofos going to respond? They are being steamrolled and Red Bike getting very aggressive with their attacking play and coming straight down the street. They need to start getting a couple of stop nades, get up with a stop position. I'm sure I just caught a glimpse of someone there on Boone's screen coming in the lower A house. It's not. Look around. There is someone. It was Skin leaping around. Takes down G Lady. Takes down Boone. Skin's trying to emulate, emulate what uh, Met just did. Met's got down by Trunk though over at Kabam. Skin's going to get a surely good view if he just peeks over that house. Out that window, he would get a good look of him. Can't see the bomb. He's going to get planted. That's, he's not moving. I, don't, I think that's a proper plant going in. No, it would have gone down by now. As skin continues to peak. 
continues to look. Nothing really there given. Sexes is there. The bomb with Riddick. He tries, fakes it again. He has someone just outside the melon room entrance. I've got a feeling it's Trunk that's down there. It is Trunk. Trunk is sat ready and waiting. And Riddick knows it. So, 26 seconds on the clock. He's going to try and go for it. Fint downs him. And now Red Bike needs to move. And Skin heard that shot. He heard it. He didn't see it. He's taking all sorts of fire. He's going to have to back away. Tagged up heavily there. Nearly got down. Tries to make a shut across. It is Evo trying to find uh, Trunk. Trunk in all sorts of trouble. Gets down by Evo. He gonna have, he's got five seconds in Fint and Sexton just needs to hide. They are going to run out of time. And that is a round for the Fofos, the first one. And that was an important one because they managed to just dash and hide and run the time down. And Red Bite, the mistake they made there was simply not having anyone else near it. They got so aggressive that nobody else was near the bomb plant. So as soon as Fint downed him, he couldn't land anything. Let's see if Goofy lands anything. No, nope, no opening frags. Skin and the flash is going out, the smoke going out. Skin's going to dash across in towards Kebab. Gets himself planted by Card, goes in towards Kebab, doesn't find the frag. He's got two in there, needs to be careful. G-Lady there, G-Lady downs Met. He's getting tagged up from the side and it is Boone that gets him. Boone gets tagged up heavily himself. See, Sexus just catches a glimpse of one. I think it is Boone downs uh, Evo there. Last man standing is Riddick. He has the bomb, and the Fofo's surely going to close this round out to take it to 3-2. Yes, they will. And the Fofo's back in this game. The grenade comes in. And let's try and get to Trunk. Trunk's the man I'm after. Let's see. He's not really going to be an aggressive pusher, but uh, he's been the man that's the forward runner for the Fofo's. They'd look at this. Look how nervous they are with the grenades. They're not going into this kebab house early. They've been completely set up and stopped. And now he gets through. Sets up a grenade of his own. Tosses it out. Cooks it. Not the cooking really matters much. Downs Met as he goes in towards Melon. Finds a second. Doesn't quite manage to land the frag on him though. It was, uh, I think it was Riddick that was in there. Goofy goes down. Evo down by Boone as soon as they switch across to him. Trunk's going to take a second peek. Trunk going into Melon once again. It was Riddick that was in there. Riddick with the bomb. Trunk's taking another peek. It's not really happening. Sex is down to two. Fint's there. And that's Riddick. And wow. Three very fast rounds from the Fofos now. And they are back completely in this game. Drawing it level. So let's try and follow Fint. Let's see, see what the scope's going to do for the Fofos. See if he's going to line any shots up early on. Takes a quick peek straight up street. He's, ah, look at this. He's trying to stop the uh, the stop the rush. So the Fofos did. Oh, some nades going in. Good nades from Red Bite there. Managing to land him. G-Lady down in one. But Boots is certain he's got someone here. In fact, he's around the back of the building. His skin has managed to get himself in there. In and around the A-site. He's going looking for Finn. Manages to find Finn. Comes around the side. He's certain he's got someone there. Look at that. Good, good comms there. Very good comms. Boone goes down to Met there. And that was very good communication from Red Bite. They just said, the bomb is here. The, uh, there's a player in the corner. Plant goes in. Sex is the last man standing. He's got it all to do. Four and one position. And this is going to be a Red Bite round. A very strong Red Bite round. So those two grenades are opening it at the first. First exchange is really worthy uh, telling different. It allowed the Red Bite team to get completely in there. Sex is trying his best. He's not really going to do a lot. He's not always hiding for it. He can't, he can't clutch you back there, lad. Not with 25 seconds on the clock. And a bomb already down. So. Let's try and follow Goofy again. See if he's going to land any shots. He got grenaded in the first time. He's going to hop up on the car. He's going to go aggressive. Tosses out the nade. Looks up, goes for the scope. Lands that grenade. A couple of grenades of his own. Backs away. Sex sounds in the kebab house. He's got someone rushing straight in towards him, catches a glimpse. Oh, but Met was there. But betters him, Riddick, with it on Boone there with a headshot. Goofy peeking round. He's trying to get a catch a glimpse of Fint. Not really happening for him, though. G Lady in the uh, lower A site. But Met is there once again. Met has really been on fire on this map for them. Riddick gets the bomb plant in. And Fint now the last man standing. 
with it all to do in a four on one. And well, Red White respond very well to uh, Fofo's drawing it equal. And we're back to a 5 3 situation. Two very, very quick rounds to Red Bite. And well done to that Red Bite team, really. I'm just going to try and catch, get Met, shall we? Because he's been, he's been on fire. As I say that, he, uh, they play it slow. I really believe it. Grenade to go out, and this is going to be a slow. Maybe they just thought, uh, okay, we ain't quite got the spawns for this. I think Met going to go slow this time, which is going to give Trunk a little chance to get in position. Yes, you see Trunk. Trunk's just positioned. If you look in the top left-hand corner of your map, you should be able to see that dot just in the corner, just at the back of these stairs. That is going to be Trunk sat down there ready and waiting. Met, oh, almost got a glimpse of him. And now he knows. He's got leaping around. There he is, Trunk down. It's going to be Sexos in the kebab. Very static positions from uh, both teams. I've noticed this throughout this tournament. Sometimes you can't really call this with the, uh, the top teams, but guys have been sticking to positions which is nothing wrong I mean you know once you get good at that position it's what works for you but uh, frankly it makes it easy for the other team if I can call it I'm sure the other players can certainly know it and say that guy's down that means that area is now clear for us to run into and push Explosion onto the next player which we know is going to be in that position so it's really making it easier for the players Evo's got someone just to the front of him I think he might be on the second floor though I'm not too sure Evo does manage to come through and the back stays in the back alley. You can see him just in the top corner. As soon as he comes around, he's behind that wall. It's exactly where he's aiming. There he is, pops out, fin down. And that was good play from Red Bite. They have very good communications here. I'm impressed with Red Bite so far. They seem to be on the ball this morning. And uh, Boone looks like he's going to be the first man for the Fofos out the gate. And Fofos really have it all to do here. Red Bite have pulled off three rounds back to back with... Uh, not really any reply. There's been strong rounds. Goofy with a grenade straight away down to Boone. Fint tries looking. Boone's probably Goofy had gone up into that corner window. I think that's the position he's been aiming. No, he isn't. He's, he's completely the other side. Talking out of my rear end. Met finds trunk. Skin is up into a house looking. And uh, Boone's already down, so he's not really going to find anyone. He's got one just out of the window, which I think might be might be G Lady out of the back there. In fact, he's going to be in the high house. There, he's around there somewhere. Sexton's he was. Sexton's managed to find two. But uh, they are looking for him. They are tracing. It is Sexton's that's managed to get the two frags. It was aggressive play. And Skin goes down now. It's two on two. The bomb down. 32 seconds. Straight into Goofy's crosshairs. And Vint now, last man standing. You've got to get across that bomb site. 26 seconds. He's going to try and take a peek. And then have a dash across the street. And he goes, leaps across. Goofy's up in that corner. Smoke down, grenade out. He's got to find Goofy. There he is, comes around, tries to lay the fire down. Doesn't manage to land the frag, though, and that's not going to give him the time. Now they know he's got to go for that, for that frag. He's not going to get the defuse. He manages to get the frag on Goofy, but it's too late. And that is seven rounds to Red Bite, and they are looking very strong here for going into the finals. 7-3. If you can read Italian, you know what they mean. But frankly, I can't. So we don't know what they're on about, really, in the chat. They're talking something. So, boom. Hit the grenade of uh, Goofy last time. Oh, I saw Skin. I think it was Skin that was going very aggressive. Someone just saw some dashing into A. I'm going to try to switch across to them. It was Skin that's got him. I know Skin's in the alleyway, actually. He's got himself into Trunks' position. Fint there, Skins are going to make a dash into the kebab house now. He's got two to the left of him. There's one line and prone on the floor. Boom was there, though. A very aggressive play. Very, very aggressive play from Red Bite here. They are not hanging around. They are getting straight into positions that count. Bomb now loose. And uh, it is going to be Evo dashing for it. Goofy giving the cover fire. Trying to take a peek. Puts the smoke down. Is the bomb plant going to go in? Trunk. He's in there. Evo just with Trunk. He's going to go for the bomb, try and get the plant. Smoke down. <coughs> he's in a very dangerous position to plant it, actually. He's, but they're aiming to the left, and he's on the right. So it kind of worked for him. Met manages to down Fint. Trunk, the last man standing. Coming across. Bomb is planted in there, and he's not really getting the look of what he wants to see, because Goof is there. And that is 8-3, and this, is, this has got to be final performance here for Red Bite. Ox are going to be watching this and thinking, right, we're going to have to up our gameplay because Red Bite seemed to be on it this morning. 
you know that the Fofos just have not woken up there was some uh, some serious partying going on last night in the hotel so maybe he was maybe maybe they were joining in I don't know you know last night of Milan it generally it, it tends to be a lot of party it was going on till about six in the morning so maybe some of these guys have just not woken up this morning taking a look across and this is actually gonna be a Fofos round here I think Goofy and Evo last two standing let's try and find it Evo's going looking bombs loose Goofy's gonna have to try and pick the bomb up and just to find someone around the corner there it's Evo taking a peek He's got someone just hopping onto the street. No, he's going to back away. So let's have a Goofy. Goofy with the bomb. He's trying his best to take a peek. He's going to cross. Grenade comes rattling in. Dodges out of the way of it. He's got the support of Evo now. But Evo's moving around. Oh, great grenade from Sexus there. Down in Goofy. And now the last man standing is going to be Evo. Where is he? There he is. He's got himself into the melon room. He's going to pick up the bomb. Tries to lay some cover fire of his own. Doesn't really land anything there. Gives his position completely away, but I think they already knew where he was going to be. He's got 30 seconds on the clock. Doesn't need to rush it. Can try and pick off some frags before he goes for the bomb plant. But not going to happen because Finn's there. And that is 8-4. So that is the first half, ladies and gentlemen. 8-4 to Red Bite. Very, very strong attack in play. And you've got to expect Red Bite to be the one to close this out. At the moment, it is looking very strong for them. Red Bite. They've looked dominant all morning, as we said. The Fofos have had nothing in reply. 13-6 was the score on the first map on strike. 8-4 so far in the attacking size. How are they going to do in defence? Fofos with it all to do. Fofos, remember, managed to take this dub double overtime against Ox. So there is every chance that they could pull it out. But I'm not convinced. I'm not convinced, as we said. So we're just waiting for one more player to ready themselves up. And we're going to go live. It is just sex as. So Fofos, what are they going to do? I don't know. They're going to have to... Are they going to take a lead from the from the Red Bike team? Are they going to go really aggressive? I think it really worked for them. Trunk was the main man for them. And if we look at the tables, you can see he's not really been in it. He's only got two frags. Whereas Trunk against Ox, he was right up there in the frags. As well as uh, Fitz, Fitz up there. Boots is performing well. But uh, Trunk is just not in the game at the moment. He's not managed to pull himself out. Sexless with the opening grenade frag. Uh, opening AK frag, so they say. Sorry. Boots getting in all sorts of trouble. Evo lands a grenade stopper. Let's have a quick look around. Sexas gets himself into a complex. You can see there is someone actually up in melon room. Someone's pushed up early. It is Met that's got himself up into melons. He's down Boone. He's got the bomb in front of him. He's loose on the ground. So he's managing to cover the bomb site. So Met's got himself up. Met has played very well. I mean, let, let's not. Let's not be put it wrong. Trunk is in all sorts of trouble. Trunk's been tagged up. Someone up the back stairs, just around the corner. There it is. Manchester down Evo. That's an important move for the Mets getting tagged up here. Comes around. Sexus with the crossfire. Shuts him down. Naming the map well. <clears throat> the bomb loose, you can see on fin screen, just outside B site. Someone is in. It is Goofy and Riddick. Riddick goes down. Goofy, the last man standing. Now he is the scope for Red Bite. He's performed well so far, but he has the three on one. With the bomb now in play. And that plant's going in. You would assume it's going to uh, go in a minute because it was loose there. You can see two, two players there. Yes, Fint does get it down. So Goofy's now going to make a move. Oh, and he lands a lovely shot onto Fint there. Just catches a glimpse of him peeking over a wall. Looking around. Trying to find one more. But Sexus is behind you. And that is the first round for the Fofos on the attack. And it was a good, strong attack as well. Let's have a, let's go to someone that's going to be leading the charge. It's been Met. Met has been outstanding so far. He's been very aggressive with that SMG. Is he going to go straight forward? No, he's going to go straight up street. Dodges the first grenade. Tusks out a flash. Straight up street. Big, strong push. He's got one in front of him. Straight into the bullets of Trunk there. But Riddick's grenade lands. Finds the mark. And Boone... Goofy coming around, trying to get a peek. Oh, oh, that was his own player. Nearly took a shot on Riddick there. Riddick didn't realise how lucky he was. He had a sniper shot from uh, his own teammate rattling past his backside. It would have been the million dollar shot, as I think he was called in the war. And you get shot in the buttocks that uh, Forrest Gump did. Riddick taking a peek. They're not the Melons of Doom you're looking for. Trunk 
So he's going to knife his own teammate for a moment there, Sexas. So there's two members over in the melon room. Oh, Trunks in trouble. Trunks is going to have to dodge out of the way. He knows they're there. Finn's trying to peek, but they know that Trunk is coming around this side now because they've just seen him dashing across there. Taking a slow run. You can see the bomb loose just in that doorway. He's got one in this melon room doorway. He's just around the corner. There he is, straight in the crosshairs. There's another one in the corner, comes up through. Evo was there, but they know his position now. Finter trying his best to look. quite see him, though. He's going to come through with the Deagle. He's just going to come up the stairs any moment now. Comes around, there he is, tries to lay the fire. Why did he not back away, man? You just had to get away and get the bomb plant in. Doesn't matter, skin's there, down sexes. And that was a big, strong round from Red Bite. Very well played, gone into that melon room early and just really dominated it from there on. Evo and Met have been very strong. They've been, they've been the aggressive pushers. And let's see what they're going to do this time. Looks like they're going to be straight up street this time. And uh, yep, Met with him, Skinner's with him as well. So uh, looks like he's going to be straight across to the side there. Met eats a grenade from Trunk, and that's going to be an important one. That's going to stop the rusher. Goofy going aggressive with the grenades as well. Team to tossing them out there. There goes Evo's grenade. Skin manages to down Trunk. Riddickson to Melon. No, he's just going to sit in the corner. He's got someone peeking. He's got one in there. This shot's coming through. Riddick knows he's got a, a man waiting for him. Backing away. Tense play there from those two guys. Sexus, is it Sexus going to go peeking? He's got two cross, coming across street for him. You can still see it going on between... Uh, bomb plant moving in now. And Riddick still sat waiting. Trying to cover the bomb plant. Up. He's got two in the room. If you look in the left-hand corner, one's going to come looking for him. He's just happened to have used that wall exactly the right time. I don't know if he realises how, how well he timed that. So Finn comes through. Is he going to make a dash for it? He's going to go have to rush in there in a moment because you can hear the bomb plant. Look at that. Now he's going to make a move. Finally comes in and Boone was there ready and waiting. The better of him. He's got one in front of him, Boone. I don't think he realises he's just behind that car. Line in front. There he was. It was Evo straight in the crosshairs. Oh, my God. Finn missing all the Deagle shots. Couldn't land a score in a brothel as Tosspot would put it. And now Skin, the last man standing. And Red Bite from a very strong position have just let it go. And Fofo's close it out. 9-6 to score. And uh, slightly unbelievable play there. So Evo at the moment, top frag. And you can see Met, Evo, Goofy. They have been playing very well. And Trunk now is starting to pick up his games. Picked up four frags. Fofo's much more comfortable in the attacking side. 6-9 to score. Can they... Pull it all back. Look at that, Finn just keeping an eye on the melon room before the smoke blows it down. Boone laying the cover fire sex. That's a trunk down, two, two frags. Skin and Met down. That stopped the rot. You can see Boone just got a glimpse of someone actually at the bomb site there. It was Riddick going down. So very aggressive play from Red Bite again. This is charging up the street completely opposite to what Ox did on this map. They were very slow, methodical, and uh, really made it count when they came through. Fint down's goofy. Last man standing is Evo. He's just around this corner. He's going to take a glimpse. There he is. Comes around. Evo manages to land the flag. G Lane is going to the left hand side. Find him. There he is. It is Evo. Last man standing. He's got it all to do. Can he go huge for his team? Manages to land a couple of hit blips, but doesn't land the frag. 9 7. Trunk downs him. Good stuff from the Fufos here. They are slowly pulling themselves into it. Screaming and kicking. And. Red Bite have been so aggressive in their play. Let's see how they're going to do it again. Skin's going to dash up street, looks like. It's going to go off across the B site. It's uh, really good goofy. They're going to take the time. It's Met that I was after, but he gets straight away grenade as soon as I switch to him, typically. If you guys looking for that, looking there. Sorry, he's a long way back. The bomb site is clear. Looks like the bomb plant going in. Mint missing the shot. He's got a glimpse of one there. Nothing making of it. It was Boons that finds him. Really goes down. And now he's got Goofy coming around. It is Goofy. Last man standing now. The skin has just been down. Goofy right behind you. Didn't even look. And they know exactly where he is. They're closing in on his position. Trunk finds him. It is 9-8. And they have pulled themselves right back into this match. And the Fofos are superb on the grass and a timeout called as expected because there is uh, there is issues in the Red Bike team. They have let this slip. They were 
they were a long way ahead. I think I, did, I can't remember what the first half score was. Was it 9-3 or 8-4? It was a big score. It was 8-4, so they had a strong attacking round Red Bite, and at the moment they have uh, just let it slip straight back. I don't know what they're doing. Red Bite having a timeout here, so what we're going to do is probably take a quick break while they do take this time. I'm going to have a quick look if there's any red re readied up. No, Red Bite, there's no one in Red Bite readied up, so they're going to have a quick tactical timeout. So we will be back. This is D-Man with Quad V live in Italy at the UGC. We are live again. It is the Fofos versus Red Bite. Fofos fighting to stay in this tournament. This is the loser bracket final. And Red Bite at the moment in a dominant position. While they were, they were 13-6 up in the first map on strike. And they were 8-4 up in the first half. But right now it is 9-8. And a tactical timeout was called by Red Bite. Concentrato was called out from the Red Bite team. Concentrate. I'm pretty sure that's what it means. I'm sure we could get a... Uh, a proper translation, but I, I, I'm fairly confident in my uh, translation. Met goes down. Met's been such a huge player for uh, Red Bite, as well as Evo. He's been really the driving force in, on Crossfire. Trunk. Trunk's trying to pick up his game. Riddick downs Boone. Boone got Evo at the same time, though. So a bit of a Crossfire situation. There's Trunk's about to see... He's got someone on stairs just around the corner. I think he's got Sexaz backing him up. He generally does. The bomb plant, so you can see in the top left-hand corner, is just, just, just tweaking, just showing, saying, "I'm here. If you want to plant the bomb, I'm here." Trunk has just he's thrown a flash out. Actually, the flash he went out. The crossfire comes in. The cover fire. The bomb plant. Very, very good teamwork there. As G Lady went in to plant the bomb, Trunk threw that flash out, laid the cover fire, so nobody could come with the crossfire down on them stairs. Very good teamwork there from the Fofos. So bomb down. Four-man defense, what are Red Bite going to do about it? Goofy is going to go switch to the SMG, and he's going to try and work his way into this melon room. He's got one just in the corner. I'm not sure if he's aware, he's looking. He's got Sexus there, downs G-Lady, trunk down skin though, so now Goofy... That's all he can do. He's got one in the top, it was Sexus there, and it is all square, ladies and gentlemen, here. And the Fofos have pulled back their deficit. And what great attacking play, really, from the Fofos. So tactical timeout from Red Bite. They slowed things down. They were charging up the street, which is what they've been doing in the attacking rounds. And obviously decided, guys, this is really not working for us. We're going to slow things down. And, well, slow play seemed to go for the Fofos because that's exactly what they had against Ox. And wow, Met just went straight into the crosshairs of uh, Boone. That's not what you want to do when there's uh, someone firing straight down the street. Probably wasn't aware of it. Didn't see the trace of fire until it was too late. And that leaves nobody in the corner. It's been Met that's been dashing into this melon room, which is why there's no one there. Goofy's going to eye on the bomb. Not really uh, finding anything. Skin's peeking. G-Lady with the bomb. And uh, again, we, are we going to see Trunk? Let's try and flash across the trunk. Riddick's there. He's trying to lay the cover fire onto the bomb plant going in. Not happening yet, though. Oh, grenade comes in. That's surely going to be the bomb plant. And that's going to be another round for the Fofos. It has to be. There's no way they can come out of this. Boone's managed to land the shots. It is. I think it's Skin that's over there. Uh, no, it's Evo. You can see Evo being getting blips there. G-Lady does get the bombing. Now Boone's going to start laying. Just lay and pray, basically. Wait for someone to come looking for those frags. Is anyone? Yes, there is going to be coming into there. It is G Lady. Goofy goes down. One man dashing across and towards A complex. Didn't see who it was. You can see the shots coming through. They're in the back ground. Fint's going looking. They're all preying on him. And now the Fofos, for the first time, take the lead against Red Bite. 10 9 the score. And wow, what a comeback from the Fofos. Can they take it to the last map, which will be district, should we get there? They're fighting their way to stay in this finals. Ox must be watching this and thinking, we're going to have one hell of a fight on our hands in the finals. At the moment, we're not too sure when those grand finals are. We thought they were going to be directly after this. Now they've been a little bit delayed, I think. And I've got a feeling that's Met. I'm going to try and find Met. Met has worked his way up. Someone is in the melon room. There it is. Boone just got a glimpse of him. Didn't see who it was. It was Met. Met down by G-Lady. And Boone taking a peek. I think it's... It's going to be Skin or Riddick that's backing him up. Man, someone's managed to get in there. It was Skin. Skin's managed to come through towards Melon. Let's try and find that man before he gets down. Goofy with a frag onto Trunk. Sexless is trying his best to find Skin. g is in there with the bomb. He's under all sorts of trouble. He's got Skin tagging him left, right and centre. 
He's managed to, in fact, Skinner's completely left the melon room. I can see him in the map. He's gone right back into the corner again. Great play, completely thrown the Fofos out. They don't know what is going on. And Red Bite have managed to uh, toss a, a, a something in there that's completely confused them. And Skin, great play. Great play from Skin there. It's covering Met, gone in there, Met went down and completely confused the hell out of the entire Fofos team. Now we go back to a... A bit of a chess situation. People looking for frags. G Lady's going to load the smoke. He's going to try and go for the plant. Tries to go for the fake. Nobody really bites. Riddick shows and Riddick gets down. Oh, that, that, that grenade might well land. That's going to force Skin to run around. Skin's going to be right up on the melon room. Lodge just to the left hand side. There is Goofy. Skin's managed to get himself up there. Skin's being tagged. He's up into the melon. He's got two people closing in on him. He's going to have to dash around. He's going to catch them straight in the back. Lovely work from Skin there. Down sex. And Skin has been fantastic in this round. And that was a well-worked round from Red Bite. Skin really playing well in that round. Really answering the call of what Red Bite required. Looking at the frags, you can see that Trunk has really stepped it up. Only two frags in the first 12 rounds. Now he's got 11. He's really turning it on in this last few games. He's much happier in the attacking round in that A complex. Finn looking for any opening frags. Looking through the smoke. Tries to get a couple of lucky shots. Boot taking his shot down the street. Not catching a glimpse of Met rushing up this time. So the bombs... The position Skin's been tagged up heavily. And Skin is going to take a peek. He's got one just to the right of him. Are they going to take a look? Comes straight up. Catches a glimpse in Melon Room there. He's got two there. Grenade comes rattling around. Dashing straight in. G-Lady there. And now Skin is down. That's going to sort things out. Boone gets a survey. Gets a good tag onto Met there. Didn't manage to down him though. Boone's going to take a look. He knows the kebab house, but you can see someone lined up. If you look in that top down, left hand corner, they are lined up looking exactly in that position. And Boone needs to be really careful. Just in that doorway, he has... I don't know whether it's Goofy that sat there or somebody has sat right in that doorway, right in front of him. There he is, lying in wait. And Boone downs Riddick. Comes across. Now Boone in process, but Goofy saying, get the hell out of the kebab shop. You have not paid the price. Goofy lays it down. Sex is down there. And that is going to be the bomb plant now, surely from G-Lady. Red bike with two men standing. It is Evo and Met. Met down shrunk just in that bottom A complex. Sexus is sat ready and waiting. Giafinti finds uh, Evo. Met the last man standing. He's going to come through. He's got G Lady just to his left hand side. Fin B G Lady just in there. Fitz actually it was Fint that got tagged up in that doorway. He's going to come rushing through. Fitz just running the hell away. And now we did all to do. 28 seconds to get this defuse on in a three on one. Oh, he's got himself a really good defensive position, but not good enough. Sex as is there, it's 11-10, and Fofos once again take the lead. Very tense stuff here on Crossfire, and really a back and forth match, and now the Red, the red Bite have managed to work the way in it. Let's see what Skin's going to do. Skin's been very aggressive. Oh, but he didn't quite work there. He's trying, to, he's trying to line up that grenade, trying to time it, delay it. There it goes. Grenade goes out. So the difference here is Met was rushing up straight through here. Instead, Skin's doing it now. Skin's going straight into Melon Room. This used to be the position Met was going in. Met's going up street on the left-hand side towards A Complex instead this time, though. And that's been the change, really, Red Bite made. And there goes Met, down again. He's not having the success he was on the right-hand side here. And Fintz starting to find the mark as well, which is a problem for Red Bite. So Gene Lady loads the smoke down of his own. Takes a look, sees anything going to happen. On the melon room doorway, it is Skinner's out there. If you're looking in the map, you can see Boone down Skin. And that's going to be surely signal G Lady to go for it. No, it's not because Evo lays the fire straight through the wall from Kebab. Boone down Riddick. Evo just to the left hand side. He knows it. Oh, don't you do not walk into gunfire when it's already going. He wasn't even aiming at you. You just collateral damage as you got in the way there. Goofy getting tagged by the grenade. Fint Sexo and Trunk for the Fofos. Goofy and Evo. A oh, lovely shot from Fint there. Straight on the head of Goofy. Now Evo with it all to do. Evo was in kebab. He is still in kebab. Evo's been resident. He's been cooking up a donut and he is ready to go. Fint out, gets the bomb down. Evo now has to leave it. He's got his pit of bread ready and he's working his way in towards the melon room. He wants a, he wants a dessert. He wants a dessert. What will he get? Nothing. He will get a bullet from Trunk and it is 12-10. Map point now for the Fofos. Can they close it out after such an abortionate defensive round? They've managed to get themselves an amazing attacking round. Only two rounds for Red Bite so far in defense. 
that is not good enough. I don't know how it's going to work on District. Personally, I think Goofy possibly is the better sniper, but Fitz, Fitz has been turning it on, it has to be said. Here we are, though, on the map, on crossfire. No one going down to any of the opening nades. Very, very slow play here. They have slowed things down considerably. Uh, Met in support. So Met's come across to the right-hand side towards Mellon now this time. He's getting tagged up a little bit there. You can see he's just off to the, the corner side. If you keep hearing the clunking, sorry, that's me playing with a pen. I'm trying my best not to. Boone comes leaping round, but Skimmer's ready for him this time. And Met and Skin surely going to make a move towards the Mellon room now. They have to make a move. They have to try and pick up the win. 51 seconds. G-Lady is the only person that's in there on the top side at the moment. Lady this time. So we're seeing Trunk in position. Fake plant goes in. Evo doesn't bite. Slow, steady play here. Smoke goes in. Skin peaks once again. He's going to make a rush in there. He keeps teasing it. He keeps teasing it. Trunk is there. G-Lady goes for it. But Evo is there with a beautiful grenade. Now it's just Trunk that's sat in here. Let's try and find him. It is Trunk on the bomb site. Oh, my God. What are you doing? Why did he not fire? Met downs him. Downs Trunk. Downs Finn. Sex as the last man standing. And that was a disastrous round for the Fofos. It was all controlled and then just went wrong. So great play from Red Bite. Met switching it up there. Met switching over to the right-hand side with Skin. And that was really the telling difference because they were looking for him. They were waiting to see when Met goes down. Didn't happen. Let's have a quick look at the Franks. You can see the Boone and Fit both hitting 20. Evo hitting 20 for uh, Red Bite. But nobody absolutely dominating. But uh, good play from both teams. Very even match as well. So the bomb's been uh, dropped over to the side. Just dropped, not, not been killed. Everyone died. And again, no grenades going, finding their home. Tries a couple. Goofy with the eyes. So again, Skin's got Met in, the, in support. If you look on the map, you can just see the arrow to the left. I'm, I can bet your bottom dollar. Oh, double grenade from G-Lady. Right where Skin and Met were. In the alleyway. Melon room. That's going to trigger it. And surely that's going to close out the map point. Can Fofos endorse it? Yes, they will. Evo down by Boone. Now they need to find Riddick and Goofy. Riddick's just in the alleyway, just across, straight in the crosshairs of Go Boone any moment now. As soon as he pokes out, there he is, down by the headshot. Goofy, last man standing round the corner. Boone finds the mark, and that is all she wrote for Red Bite. And now the Fofos take it to the third map. Superb stuff. Superb play from Red Bite. Superb play from Fofos. Just really... Very good tactics from both teams. They were switching it up. They they did what they needed to. A little too static in the positions, it has to be said, because you could, well, I could call it from about round two who, who was where. So we're going to have a quick break here. It's going to be District coming up next. 13-6 on strike, 13-11 on crossfire. This is a very close lower bracket final. Who will face Ox? We will find out shortly. Since D-Man with Quad V live at the UGC, we will be back shortly for the third round.